All of the work we do is done on the near side or left hand side of the vehicle so that we do have to re, um, re-secure our loads. Uh, in the middle of a trip we're standing on the footpath and not the traffic side of the road. So we first attach the rope to the driver's side or the near side by use of what we call a clove hitch. The method of doing a clove hitch is to hold the rope in that fashion as though you were as though you're going to shake someone's hand. Put the thumb above the rail, with the fingers push the rope into the palm of the hand. Pull the rope through, maintaining exactly the same grip. Do the same thing to the right side of the rope. Thumb above the rail and pull the rope through with the thumb above the rail. Pull the rope down, up with the left hand, and that will tension the clove hitch. We're not allowed to have more than a 100mm or a 4 inch tail. It's probably quite wise at this point anyway, to do a half hitch on that rope and that's a safety and we'll stop that coming from coming undone. Ensuring that there are no pedestrians, no people or objects on the other side of the vehicle, we then throw the rope over the load. The other knot, probably simpler and more efficient, is the basic truckies hitch or the beehive. Same again, make a loop at combing rail height right hand up on the rope in a natural grip, take the loop above the right hand, the right hand wraps around that once, and the second time it wraps in behind it. With both hands, pull that tight, and that will all tension. The left hand comes down into the loop, we bring the rope through the rail, and it comes through the bottom loop. Pull the rope tight, pulling down, not out, with the leg out in case the knot gives way. Pinch, and we complete the clove hitch. Move it in, pull it tight, pinch it, and clove hitch. The loose rope again has to be stowed away, no more than 100mm tails on the side of the vehicle. So we'll take that up through the inside of the rail, half hitch above the knot, and half hitch above the knot until the rope is secure. If we have a lot more rope, um, it might be wise to roll that rope up and it could be tied up there or it could be stowed inside the pallets. We need to tidily stow the rope, hold the rope in your hand, move your hands roughly the same distance and you'll get fairly even loops. At this point now there's not enough rope to secure, drop the back loop off, you wrap that around close to the hand, put a loop through the top and poke the end of the rope through the loop.